Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Becky and I am a recent graduate. So I just graduated with my Ohio teaching license in preschool through third grade. And I am so excited for today's video because I am finally going to be making my teacher rocking chair that I have been wanting for so long. So like I said, I just graduated and I currently do not have a job for the upcoming school year, but I am looking. So I'm kind of in that weird stage where I am really eager to start making stuff for my new classroom, but I don't have a classroom to put anything in yet. So instead of making something that I know I'm not going to use, I decided that I really wanted to make a rocking chair because I know that this is something that I have been personally wanting for a very long time and I know that I can use it anywhere. So I thought that I would take you along with me and you could kind of see my whole process and maybe you could get some inspiration for your own teacher rocking chair or any rocking chair in general. So come along with me and we're gonna go check out the chair and you will get to see all the steps and all the process on making my first teacher rocking chair. Okay, so here is the rocking chair that I found and I got it off of Facebook Mar Market for $20. And if you're ever looking for anything, Facebook Market has honestly been awesome. I've gotten so many things there, but you can see that it's old and it was painted black before but some of the paint's chipping so I need to give it a good sanding down and I actually need to put a screw in over here it's coming apart here so I'm gonna add a screw so that it doesn't wobble anymore and then these turn right here and I don't really want them to so I'm gonna see if I can either glue them or put like a staple in the back like it already is but once it gets sanded down and painted and I'll give it a little TLC I know that it's gonna be perfect my DIY teacher rocking chair and yesterday I sanded it down which took a little bit longer than I thought but it's good to go now and I glued in the spindles with some Gorilla wood glue and now they don't move which is perfect it's exactly what I wanted and I just finished wiping down all the excess paint and everything that I sanded down yesterday so it is good to go and I will come and give you a quick look at the chair so this is what it looks like. It's looking so much better than it did before. You can see it was kind of hard to get some of the spots. Like there's still some black paint there, but I think after I cover it with this white paint, it'll be perfect. And the paint that I'm actually using is this Valspar furniture paint. And it's paint that we had left over from my sister's um, furniture when we painted it white so I think it'll be perfect that way I don't have to prime it and I can just use that paint so I'm gonna take you along with the process as I paint it Hello everyone, welcome to day three of my DIY teacher rocking chair. I am so excited because today is the day that we finally get to add a bunch of color to my chair. 
So yesterday I painted and primed it so it is ready to go. I'm gonna finally add a bunch of different colors it's, and it's gonna start looking like an actual teacher rocking chair. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and I'm gonna show you the setup that I have going. Okay, so here is what the chair looks like. Yesterday you saw me painting it white and it's finally finished. So I got the whole thing covered. And then today I'm gonna to be adding some color, like I said. So I decided I'm gonna use a bunch of different acrylic paints. So I have a bunch of different colors right here and it's a nice, cheap and affordable option. And I looked it up and it is supposed to be good on wood. So let's hope that it actually works. So fingers crossed it does and let's get started. today five of redoing my rocking chair so yesterday I did a lot of painting and my school supplies are finally starting to take shape on my chair which is really cool it's finally starting to look like a teacher chair and today I'm hoping to finish painting we'll see if that actually happens but um, if you can tell we have a little change of scenery it is all wet and gloomy outside so I am in my garage today but I will go ahead and I will turn around and show you what the chair looks like so you can see the pencils are start, finally starting to look at pencils and you can see the glue sticks I have and the crayons. I'm going to be adding a lot more detail to the crayons today so they'll actually look like crayons. And then I'm going to start working on the top and I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to do to the bottom but we're going to see. I'm going to see how everything else looks first and then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do to the bottom. So stay tuned and you can see how it'll look at the end. I'm back again really quickly before I start. I swear, as soon as I filmed that last clip, like the sun came out. So I moved back outside because there's a lot better lighting so you'll actually be able to see what I'm doing. But I quickly wanted to show you the um, paint pens that I'm using today, especially on the crayons, on the details. Um, these are a lot easier than using a paintbrush and paint. So I just wanted to show you them. You can get them from Walmart, they're like, two three dollars they're kind of pricey but I actually already found like a couple at home so I only went and I had to just buy like two or three but it's um, a nice way to be able to get um, some detail on your stuff and it's really easy to do so I just wanted to share that with you really quickly It is a couple days later and I know I said I was gonna finish a chair the other day but I got really busy so you know it's a couple days later I've been working really hard on it I worked on it a lot last night and it's starting to look really good but I wanted to hop on here really quickly because I wanted to give you one last update before you see the final product 
So I figured by now you're probably super tired of watching me paint. So I thought I would just give you a quick update, show you what it looks like now, and then the next time you'll see it, it will be all finished. So here's what it looks like now. You can see it looks a lot different than the last time you saw me paint. I have the top starting to look like how I want it. And the crayons, I think you saw me putting some detail on it. I added some um, markers down here at the bottom. And then that middle is supposed to be two paintbrushes. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but that's what it looks like. And then here on the side, you can see that it's a little sunny, but you can see that I made um, colored pencils. I really like purple, so that's why I went with the purple there. So this is what it looks like now, and the next time you see it, it will be finished. Hello everyone, it is the day that I have been waiting for. I am so excited because it is the big reveal day. So yesterday I finally finished painting my teacher rocking chair and this morning I put the clear coat and varnish on it so it is all set and ready to go and I am so excited to be sharing it with you today. So without further ado, here it is. So I have some apples and a nice chalkboard on top and I wrote my name on it. You can see I have some crayons there and I decided that I didn't want to put Crayola on them and I just liked them plain so I just left them like that and I have some pencils and glue sticks and then I decided I wanted to keep the, the chair kind of or the seat kind of plain so I just went with paper so I'll get a closer look at that. And then I decided that I wanted to add a nice touch and put a ruler, but I decided to leave out the numbers. I kind of just liked it more simplistic. And then you saw this part before, but I put some markers and then I made two paint brushes. And then I'll come here and show you from the side. And I put two colored pencils. I'm so excited with how it turned out. I hope that you all enjoyed watching this video. Trust me, I'm sure there will be plenty more DIYs to come after this one. I am always doing a bunch of little projects and especially once I get my own classroom, I'm sure that I will be doing a bunch of projects like this and maybe a little different ones too, I don't know. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and if you have any questions, leave some comments down below and I will be sure to answer them. So uh, stay tuned for next video and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.